The Salon of the Marquise d'Orfe was the most celebrated in Paris, a goal ardently sought after by all the leading personalities of the arts and sciences. I had the honor of being invited there one evening and met, amongst others, Count Saint-Germain, famed for his knowledge of the occult, but in my view, an unscrupulous adventurer and charlatan. I engaged him in a battle of wits from which I emerged the victor. Marquise d'Orfe, an extraordinary woman of unique charm, loved to surround herself with magicians, clairvoyants, and mediums, being herself one of the foremost experts in necromancy. <coughs> I am in a communion with the Queen of Sheba. She wishes to speak to us. Oh, how oh, splendid. How sweet to come back amongst us, don't you think? What is the water which does not gush from the rocks, which does not fall from the sky, which does not spout from the earth? Answer, a horse's sweat. The riddles of Solomon, that is his answer to the Queen. We have received your message. Thank you, Father. Forgive, forgive me. If you truly believe in these extraterrestrial encounters, why do you not penetrate directly into the Queen of Sheba's soul? The Queen of Sheba is deficient in soul, like all women. Oh, come now. The Council of Trent put a stop to all that nonsense years ago. Women have only two qualities of soul. Men have three. Women lack the noble soul, that which is imperishable. a beautiful woman. Even one sword is more than sufficient, provided that it blends with a man's in perfect harmony with the blending of their bodies. <laughs> what is it, Monsieur le Marquis? Ah, yes, yes, I see. He says we should hear his granddaughter's opinion. Edwige is a very erudite theologian. What were you studying this morning, my child? I was reading Saint Augustine, whom I found quite absurd. I was able to refute him in a few sentences. And which of his doctrines did you refute, mademoiselle? His theory about our Lord's mother. St. Augustine maintains that the Virgin Mary conceived Jesus through her ears. And you don't believe him? Certainly not, for three good reasons. First, because God, not being of material substance, has no need of an orifice through which to enter or withdraw from a human being. Second, because the eardrums have no physiological connection with the womb. Third, because if Mary had indeed conceived through her ears, she would also have had to have given birth through her ears. And if this were the case, excuse me, if this were the case, the Catholics would be right, wouldn't they? is my refuge, my secret temple, my spiritual realm, my laboratory of magic. Everything you see around you dates back to antiquity and arrived here mysteriously. Oh, you recognize him. He belonged to the divine Paracelsus. 
whom I cherish above all others. This liquid had been boiling now for 15 years. It must continue to boil for another five. Now tell me the truth. You possess the secret of the Philosopher's Stone, don't you? No. No, madame. Whatever makes you think a thing like that? Oh, my dear boy. You can confide in me. I know that you have the famous stone. And the ability to communicate with the spirits of the four elements. Why, you could overthrow the kingdom of France any time you wanted. No, I could never do that. I love France. You must not overestimate me, dear lady. Giacomo, I implore you. Help me to implement the great work. The great work? What do you mean by that? Come now, you know exactly what I mean. Tell me. I shall die. And in the act of dying, I shall be transformed into a man. A man who will live forever. But I can only achieve this if I'm impregnated by an adept of the same pyramidal sign as mine. At the moment of birth, my soul will pass into the baby boy. In this way, I shall die as a woman and be reborn as a man. A man who will live for all eternity. And you, unquestionably, are the one who has been sent to help me in this momentous undertaking. This great work. Hey, young friend, why are you crying? It's nothing. It's nothing. Show me the rest of your treasures. Please, madame. Why? I... All this will be yours, when together we have accomplished the great work. You have misunderstood me, dear lady. I was not referring to your material treasures, but to your spiritual ones, those you have gleaned from the supernatural. My beloved boy, the divine Anael has already shown me your likeness in a dream, and I knew that. 